Hello and welcome to my new Let's Play series of Chronicles of Mystery, The Tree of Life. Ooh. This is a uh, traditional point and click adventure game, because why not? These games are super fun, I like games like this. I've been, I played a few couple on my, uh, here on my YouTube channel before, and this is a, this is actually one of the, uh, an, I don't know when this is from actually, but it's one of the newer ones. I mean, compared to a lot of the other ones I've played, um, uh, yeah, this is uh, before we get started. Like I say, this is actually a sequel to another game, but the only thing the two games have in common is the same lead character. You don't have to play the first one to, in order to play this, so we should be good. Now I'm gonna start the new game. Be warned. The the sound in the cutscene is for some weird reason like three times as loud as the rest of the game. Don't know why. I'm not gonna talk about or talk over the, the 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 intro, and I haven't actually seen it. Just the very beginning of it. So I'm going into this game and this intro completely blind. Okay, well let's just get started. Something we promised to preserve for the entire humankind is under threat. Give me a break. Who is it this time? Omega. I told you we should never leave him alone. Can't he really become one of us? It's too late for that. And now, what's your say? I agree. Well then, let it happen. Nice place. You can feel the atmosphere. That was exciting. So that's me, the girl. I'm I glad think. you came. Oh. In my opinion, we hit the nail on the head when we invited you to work with us. Yeah. I agree. Nice to hear that. I won't disappoint you. Let's get to the point then. Mm -hmm. This used to be Marcel's workshop. Now it's at your disposal. Has my predecessor... You can call him Marcel. ...catalogued the contents. Yes, he opened the chest, but unfortunately closed it before his death. Marcel's dead? I'm sorry, I didn't know. A tragedy. I didn't want to mention it earlier, so you wouldn't get the impression you already got it. You didn't want to discourage me? People die. It happens. <sighs> What's wrong in here? The wind. It rules the place. True. It's difficult to get used to it. Sometimes when it blows like that, it feels like a wall. You may feel like leaning against it, or even lying down on it. Don't do that. Okay, so yeah, uh, before we ask these questions, I am uh, in, an archaeologist, a young archaeologist, arch archaeologist named Sylvie Leroux, just to get some backstory. And um, I'm guessing we're in Venice. That was a l looked like some kind of Venice gon gondola, gondo gondola, and uh, like a carnival thing and I'm guessing I'm taking over the job for some guy who's dead. Let's ask him about the workshop. Oh, this place is impressive. 
Yes, you can focus on your work here. Marcel considered this retreat in the tower as his private area. I'm not surprised. It's not like my place downstairs, especially the kids, these hordes of little savages. They tear <laughs> everything to pieces. The curse of school trips? I love children, but I'm overjoyed once the season is over. <laughs> uh, let's ask about the chest. This chest right here. No, not this really. This chest I'm supposed to examine. What can you tell me about it? Marcel left a report somewhere here. Basically, Paris treated itself to an expensive gift and suddenly lost affection for it. And the facts? 16th century. Belonged to one of those Spanish nobles who brought the New World to its knees. A marvelous age of sailing ships, legends, and incredible bravado. You like these fairy tales, too. It's rare in women. I what? grew up looking out for adventure from my window <laughs> as if from a crow's nest. My uncle's house was a galleon sailing out into a completely different tale every morning. And where is this Isle of Blissful Childhood? Everywhere. Malta in my case. Huh. That's right. Your uncle lived there after all. His death was an irreparable loss for our whole community. And a totally pointless one. I'm guessing some of the things they're talking about refers to the first game, but I've, I've been told that, well, I read that you don't really need to play the first, but I don't know. Let's uh, continue. Chest owner. Going back to the chest, who was its owner? 500 years ago, it belonged to Ponce de Leon. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I know him. The discoverer of Florida. He was looking for the Fountain of Youth. Yep. The chest, though, had its own vicissitudes. Through Spain, it reached Italy. In the 19th century, it disappeared, probably in a private collection, only to reappear unexpectedly at an auction in England. Huh. Sounds intriguing. Let me just add that its secrets are protected by a combination lock, and a very interesting one. Ooh. Sounds like a puzzle. Accident. About Marcel, was it an accident? Fell off the cliff. So if you feel like going for a romantic walk, better give it up. <laughs> okay. I will, at least today. Did he work here for a long time? Yes, one day too long. He must have known the surroundings okay. well, didn't he? Theoretically. You know that Marcel was an expert? But an underestimated one. He was like a curious urchin. Maybe he was testing the hardness of the wind then. I know, that was stupid. Uh, okay. Uh, team. One thing more. On such windy, cold the evenings, we warm ourselves up with a bit of liquor. But as with every single thing in this world, you need to know your limits. Hmm, are you asking me out for a drink? Well, yes, naturally. <laughs> Maybe tonight? Thanks, but no thanks. Tonight, I'd like to rest. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess that was a bit clumsy. Never mind. Um, could you tell me something about the team? <laughs> Most of them are on vacation. Apart from the two of us, there are only Antoine the janitor and Claire the restorer. Hmm. Lecture in Venice. A lot of talking. I hope you're okay with that, people who are watching this. Just one more thing. Yes? Basically, I'm here today just to get the lay of the land. I'm coming back home tomorrow, and then I'm going to Venice for a lecture. It'll take me a couple of days. Oh. Right. Okay. Now I remember you're promoting your book. Can I count on a copy with your autograph? Obviously, once I return from Venice, as the whole edition is in Italy. Perfect. So I'm not in Venice. You've made me so curious, I'd like to start work today. I'll be able to think it over on my trip. Where am I? Ah, I knew you'd rise to the bait. In that case, I'll trouble you no more. But should you need any help, you know where to find me. Yes. No. Where? Goodbye. Thanks. I'll have a look around. I'll see you later. So I'm not in Venice, I guess. Where the fuck am I? Maybe this is a map. The retreat of a discoverer and a treasure hunter. What a thrill. Uh-huh. Let's uh, look at the... Oh. I'm just walking towards it. I want to look at it. I guess let's look at the photocopier. Let's make a copy. Hello. I have nothing to copy, do I? I don't know. Copy your ass. Come on, sit on it. Sit I on need the to clean it up before copying anything. Sit on the dirty glass. Okay. Guess not. S secretary. Um Close. 
closed. I guess this is where Marcel kept the most precious documents. Guess I need to find a key. Uh, you can't... <laughs> really? This whole thing you can't examine? Okay. Let's check this out. Oh, we got some uh, different photographs. Well, n probably not for the drawings. We got some boats. 19th century print reproduction. A fresh breeze. Five on the Buford scale. Ah, what the hell's the Buford the reproduction scale? Reproduction depicts a gale. That's eight on the Buford scale. What's a Buford scale? A gentle breeze. Three on the Buford scale. Oh, is that something to do with wind? I guess. A picture showing a pottery fragment. It looks like a spout of a jug. I probably need to find that. Huh. So far, this game looks interesting. Uh, an armor. A polished 16th century plate armor. A masterpiece of armorer's craft. Yeah, I like it too. 3D. Oh, I got a 3D printer. Oh, that's awesome. Judging by the control panel, this 3D printer is carrying out a certain task. Okay, let's turn it on. Judging by the control panel, oh. this 3D printer is carrying out a certain task. Oh god, I th this is awesome. This is Judging by oh. the control Oh my. This is 3D printer. I'm guessing this game is really, really isn't that old then. I don't know when did the 3D printer get I have the game ca cassette right here. Does it say where it's from? No, oh, it's from I think it's from 2010. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, what else we got? Can I look at this? No, I can I can go that way. And bay window and exhibition. Let's go to the bay window first. We're just exploring now. that's now. a place I like. The smell of wood, stone walls, books, and of a secret waiting to be found. Yeah! Okay, this must be the... Oh yeah, this is the chest. Cool. Such beautiful ornaments on the lid. These dials are a part of the combination lock, I guess. The hmm. chest is secured with a combination no. lock. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna change them. Oh, oh, I can. Okay. The chest is secured with a combination lock. Yeah, I was actually trying Many to. combinations. It requires more than a bit of luck. Yeah, you're right. There is actually a lot of. The chest is secured. Oh yeah. Okay. Way too many combinations. We got an item list. A list of items from the chest. I should verify it. Ancient pottery fragment. That's the one in the 3D printer. 16th century pistol. Spanner. Ramrod. Can I take this? I want. I want to take it. Hmm. A list of items from the chest. Should verify. I should verify. It. Well, I can't because I can't get into the chest. Uh, books? Any books to read? Can I read some of these books? No? Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's go check out the, the exhibition. Anything, there wasn't anything else up here, right? No, I think that was, yeah. A spacious interior. Used to be a stateroom. The director is kind of stiff. But he's <laughs> the boss, after all. Uh, okay, that's museum director. And who's this? I can't, oh. I have to walk towards it, I guess. No. Table. I can. Can I not talk to this lady right here? I can look at the model ship. I like the graphics. Really beautiful. Marine exhibits look truly magnificent in a gothic interior. Hmm. I guess. I don't want to talk to him just right now because we basically just talked to him. So I can go up to the workshop. I can nave. I don't know what the hell a nave is. Let's look at this table. See what's on it. Oh. I box. should ask the restorer for permission. Yeah, but you couldn't talk to her. Can you talk to her now? No, oh, nave. I don't know what a nave is. I want to talk to her. Oh, that is her. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at this beautiful painting. An epic battle scene. Looks like the beginning of the 18th century. Yeah, this, if you say so. Let's talk to the restorer. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Work. Uh, hello. Am I interrupting? Sylvie LaRue, archaeologist. Call me Claire. 
You're very young for an expert. I've just started working on that chest. Tell me, where did you work this before? Chest. On Gazo. Ah, oh, yes, I've heard of it. Professor LaRue's a relative of yours? My uncle. Now it all makes sense. With such backing, it's not that difficult to become a workshop manager in a provincial museum. What? Spare me the remarks. I'm a freelancer and I don't intend to stay here for long. What a bitch. I don't believe you can make a living in this business with such an approach. What? Oh, you have to be a you bitch? Can at least try. Not a bad idea. Until you fall for some macho, you can roam around the world till your heart's content. After all, you can always count on your uncle to fix you up with a job. He's dead. My uncle's dead. I'm so sorry. I don't be mad at me. I thought you were going to steal my post. It's okay. What a I'm just bitch. Being but it's all because of Marcel. Yeah, you're a bitch. That's is that all because of Marcel? Jesus Christ. Well, let's ask her about Marcel. The boss told me that told you about us? No. No. <laughs> to be absolutely clear, we were a couple until recently. Yeah, he oh, died. I see. I'm really sorry about his death. It was a difficult relationship. Him dying and all. Um chest. Marcel was working on that chest. Uh, did he mention anything? He didn't mention anything else. This type of man, you know, I had to use all my womanly skills to distract him from work. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Did he tell you how to open the chest? You the used your chest? He had trouble with it. He called different people and asked around in Paris. So I guess they told him. I don't know, but don't call them. Why? You'll tell me I'm paranoid. You're paranoid. Naturally, unless you explain it to me. Okay, then. The guy there who was responsible for this chest... <laughs> okay, well, no more chest jokes. He died of heart failure. Uh, tools. Right. <laughs> Some no. kind of ill fortune? <laughs> what else? You think Marcel got so loaded in the inn that he decided to fly around? Why not? You mean the inn by the castle? He didn't what take castle? drugs, that's for sure. Yes, you need to go along the cliff. But don't do it at night. It wasn't an accident. Let's drop the subject. I'd like to ask you a favor. Yeah. Don't make a fuss over the box. Don't call anybody. I wanted to work on that lock on my own you anyway. Call? Thanks. Look around the workshop. Marcel used to record some things on the museum dictaphone. What? I didn't see no dictaphone. I'll find Marcel's dictaphone. Just don't bring it to me, please. I couldn't bear listening. Okay, back to work. Sylvie, you're all right. I think we'll get along. Wow. I'm sure of that. <laughs> One moment she's a complete bitch calling her of who knows what, and then, oh yeah, I think we could be friends. Gee, don't look at me like that. You were. Jesus. Tools. Can I borrow something? I haven't found anything at Marcel's. No wonder. What do you need? A brush and some varnish? I didn't You'll even find know in the that. Box. Help yourself. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Remember, I always have time for a chat. Yeah, calling you. All in all, Claire is okay, though she can be a nuisance. Yeah, she's right there. She's right there. She probably shouldn't be talking about her. Huh? Boat. A brilliantly reconstructed Viking boat. Hmm. Okay. Not the greatest information in the world, but okay. Let's check out her tools. Open up this and take the brush and some varnish and anything else I can take. The cloth. I can use this to clean uh, the, the copier. Let's uh, leave. Let's head back upstairs to the workshop. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know. And in the beginning, I might just post one video per day. But I think if, if it all goes well, I'm going to start, like, my uh, my fear series. going to start posting two videos each day. I mean, no one's forcing you to watch both of them. <laughs> so, it's not like it's going to be overwhelming or something like that. I don't know. Let's use this to clean this. Yay! Let's close this again. Because I still don't have anything to, like, to copy, you know. So where's this? Oh, wait. 
There's a drawer here. I didn't even notice that before. The dictaphone is probably in here. Yeah, dictaphone. Is that a dictaphone? Looks like a cell phone. Or oh, I thought these are nail clippers. <laughs> Take the nail clippers. Oh wait. Oh, that was just a spot. Let's uh, take this. Um, place it again. No can do. Oh, how do I? Oh. A dictaphone. Oh, that's probably a... used to record comments on the spot. That's what you usually do with a dictaphone. Yes. Let's uh, listen to it. Oh, no memory card. Oh. So I need to find the memory card. I guess. Is it in here? Nope. Uh, can I open this drawer? No, we need to get in here. I'm gonna use the tweezers to pick the we lock. need an alternative solution. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Can you do that, actually? Use tweezers to pick a lock? I guess if you're an expert enough. If you're expert, expert good enough. Okay. Just checking, see if there's anything else in here worth looking at. So far, I'm liking this game. It's a really back to the old school, traditional point and click adventure games. I'm huge fan, huge fan. Unfortunately, kind of a dying genre of gaming. Still, I mean, st they're still being made a lot of games like this. They're just not getting um, as much attention anymore. Which is a shame. Oh, that was the draw. Let's go talk to the director and then we'll probably call it quits for now. Talk to him again. Hope he doesn't hit on me again. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> First day at work and he's already inviting me out for a drink. Jesus. Ah, combination. The chest is secured with a combination. Do you know it? Look through Marcel's notes. What they notes? surely know the combination in Paris. <laughs> they wouldn't buy a pig in a poke, would they? What? They'd be moaning again that they have to lead us by the hand like kids. Try to deal with it on your own. What city am I Fine, in? Fine, but it will take a while. Does it with say? With you respect, we really can afford paying for a few more hours. I'll get back to work then. Good luck. Uh. I'm looking at the back of the box, trying to figure out where it this is. It says Venice, but I guess, but I'm not in Venice. I'm going to Venice. Uh, 3D printer. Is the 3D printer carrying out some specific task? Marcel programmed it, but he didn't finish printing. You can continue his work. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thanks. I'll have a look around. I'll see you later. Yeah. I see you later. I'm even more eager to work now that I've had this conversation, but those gloomy overtones. I'd better talk to Claire and find out what this is all about. But uh, yeah, I'll do that next time. Let's just go here and turn around so you can s look at ourselves. Here we are, Sylvie. Yeah, this so far this seems like a really fun game. Traditional point and click, old school. This is really fun. Um, so next time we'll talk to. Uh, to uh, clan, we'll uh, so let's sum up basically what we need to do. We need to open the box. That's a given. We also need to get the 3D printer working. We need to open the the uh, the secretary. We need to find a a memory card for this, and we need to get the 3D printer working. So there's a lot of stuff to do, which is awesome. I'll see you next time for more. Chronicles of Mystery, the Tree of Life. Bye.